this lecture is going to be very much beneficial for you. Today I am going to show you how to calculate the quantity of materials that is cement, sand and aggregate for any structural member both in terms of weight and volume. All you need to do is to follow these simple steps. The first step is to calculate the wet volume of the member. The second step is to calculate the dry volume. In the third step, we need to calculate the volume of cement and number of cement bags required. The fourth step will be to calculate the volume of sand. And finally, the volume of aggregates will be calculated in the fifth step. For illustration, let's consider any structural member, say a beam of length 3 meter and area of cross section equal to 0.3 meter into 0.3 meter. The grade of concrete used is M20. For M20 grade of concrete, we use the mix ratio 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. That is, one part of cement is mixed with 1.5 parts of sand and three parts of coarse aggregates. Total ratio of all these ingredients will be equal to ratio of cement plus sand plus aggregate, which will be equal to 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 and the total will be 5.5. Now coming to the first step in which we need to calculate the wet volume, which will be equal to length of beam into area of cross section of this beam. On substituting these values, wet volume will be equal to 0.27 meter cube. Now coming to the second step in which we need to calculate the dry volume which is given by the formula wet volume into 1.54 while 1.54 is the conversion factor which I have already discussed in my previous lectures. Wet volume is already calculated as 0.27. On substituting these values, dry volume will be equal to 0.415 meter cube. Now we need to calculate the volume of cement which is given by the formula ratio of cement upon total ratio into dry volume. Ratio of cement is given as 1. Total ratio is calculated as 5.5 and dry volume is already calculated as 0.415 meter cube. On substituting these values, volume of cement will be equal to 0.075 meter cube. As we know, the volume of one bag of cement is equal to 0.035 meter cube. Hence, the number of cement bags will be equal to volume of cement upon volume of one bag of cement. On substituting these values, the number of cement bags required will be equal to 2.14 bags. Now coming to the fourth step in which we need to calculate the volume of sand, which is given by the formula ratio of sand upon total ratio into dry volume. Ratio of sand is given as 1.5, total ratio is 5.5 and dry volume is already calculated as 0.415. On substituting these values, volume of sand will be equal to 0.113 meter cube. As we know, the density of sand is 1450 kg per meter cube, that is, weight of 1 meter cube of sand is equal to 1450 kg. Hence, weight of 0.113 meter cube of sand will be equal to 0.113 into 1450 and the total will be 164 kg. Finally, volume of aggregates will be equal to ratio of aggregates upon total ratio into dry volume. Ratio of aggregates is given as 3. Total ratio is 5.5 and dry volume is already calculated as 0.415. On substituting these values, volume of aggregates will be equal to 0.226 meter cube and weight of aggregates will be equal to volume of aggregates into density of aggregates which is 1650 kg per meter cube. On substituting these values, weight of aggregates will be equal to 373 kg. We can follow a similar procedure for other structural members like column, slab, footings, etc. All you need to know is the grade of concrete and the size of the member. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content and want to get more out of it, you can check out my compiled PDFs on various topics which I deliver on this channel or I will be providing the link in the description box of this video.